more for role playing purposes. Um, this is blocking our oxygen vent right here. Not that it actually matters, but it would in, in a real world situation. Of course, if we're starting to compare Planet Crafters with real world, well, let's just not even go there. <laughs> That's not a good idea. Um, this is just for funsies. Welcome back everybody to the Planet Crafter. I am the Bearded OG and in this episode we are going to build our lakeside outpost. Um, I've been uh, wanting to do that for a while and so yeah we're gonna go over there and do that and that way we're we have a, an actual outpost with storage and um, other things to collect all the stuff that we're producing from the lake. I'll probably be doing some more um, uh, algae generators there and that sort of thing um and i also want to build another ore extractor and take it over to the sulfur biome uh which is over here so if we if we go up this way on the map so this is uh this is the main lake here this is our current little outpost and if we go through the cave over to here this is the sulfur biome and so that way we can get one going we have a a little extractor and chat shack here in this aluminum zone and you can actually see uh see those things on the map which is really cool if we zoom all the way in yeah there's our ore extractor and our little building right there i like it it's pretty cool uh all right so let's get out of here and um i don't think we have any yeah this message from riley keeps acting like we haven't read it um, but we have multiple times <laughs> so I don't know what the hell is going on with that uh, we do have to be mindful of our power we have 139 kilowatts which should be plenty uh, you know for us to do stuff uh, so I guess the first thing that we need to do then is we need to get the ore extractor built that we're going to take over with us uh, so let's put all of that in there Actually, we need to drink one of those. So, let's see. To make an ore extractor, we need two Ozes, an Iridium, a Super, an Aluminum, and a Titanium. Two Osmium. We need an Aluminum. An Iridium Rod. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I think we also needed a super alloy. And is that it? Oh, and a titanium. Okay. Uh, do I have any titanium in here? No, I don't. Now, um, I didn't really leave any ore over there. And I think also our main outpost building, I think we're going to put in, I think we're going to put in one of these big living compartments. So we need two more super alloy for that. And you know what? I'm just going to grab all of this iron. And well, here, let's put some of it back because we're also going to need some more titanium and we're going to need a little bit of silicon okay that should uh, get us ready to go I'm going to pop back here and oh inventory's full okay here drop this for a second just eat that oh you know what we could do too we've got a bunch of food over there but it wouldn't probably wouldn't hurt to plant a couple of bean machines over there for just an extra food but yeah i'll do that later we'll have to make another trip for that i know eventually we can get teleporters in the game um which will be nice but uh i'm sure we're quite a ways off uh, from that 
Um, also, we can make the tier two flower spreaders. What is th what do those take? Uh, where are they actually? Right here. So we we need to make two. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna wait on that. I'm uh, just because um, we're kind of starting to get a little bit low on super alloys, and I want to you know make sure we have enough to do what we need to do to get our outpost up and running. All right, I think this is a good enough spot for us to get started. Um, you know what, just because I need a little bit of inventory space, let's go set down the, the ore extractor first. Top off our O2. All this building I'm going to tear down and move to the new location. Yeah, we haven't even harvested any of the iridium or ore in this cave either. So iridium's just not something that I feel like we're going to ever run out of. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't say ever, but you know. Okay, so if I just plop down uh, an extractor here. Yeah, we'll turn it that way. Is sulfur its main thing? Huzzah! It is. Okay, cool. Good deal. Good deal. Um, well, let's put a, uh, a building here. And we'll put a crafting station. I just like to have one of those in all of my little outpost buildings. And for now, we'll just build one storage locker. Okay. That's done. What's that I still doing there? Oh, there's water in the cave. How interesting. All right, we should be able to take that down and let's take apart some of these lockers to get some more iron. That's got food in it. Oh, okay, yeah, that's all we can do at the moment. Now, do I still have enough stuff to make this building here? Yeah, we do. Okay, good. Let's go back over to the shore. This is going to be fun, man. We have like our little lakeside cabin outpost thing. Um, I'm going to pick this and this and go make another O2 cartridge. Uh, I just need to get those ores out of the way. Is the main thing. And we can even take. Well, actually, no. I need. I want to leave a couple spots until we get the building down. Let's get rid of that and this. Okay. Now, what I'd like to do, if we can, is... Uh, I think we need... I'm going to have to do it from this side so I can kind of see how far. But I want it to sort of jut out into the water a bit. And then we could maybe build, um, like, a, a dock. Eh, I don't think that's going to... It could work. Hmm. If we're going to do that, we might want to move it over this way a little more. All right. I wonder if I can 
set these around the side um, as the, you know, kind of as, as a deck. Deck, dock, dock, deck, deck, dock. Let's see. Mm, no, it doesn't look like it's going to let me do that. Because it, it's expecting to be in a building. And I can't I can't really use foundations because it just gets too deep too quick. Well, I don't think I can. Let's uh let's look at that actually. If we make a found oh, this maybe this will work. Oh yeah, this will work. Okay. Um, the thing is, though, is I'd like that to go out further. Uh, can I do a door here really quick? There we go. That's not actually where we're gonna keep the door, but it's where I put it for the moment, just so we can get some air. All right. Um, let's actually put the door where we are going to put it, which I think is going to be right here. There we go. All right. So if I th think, yeah, I want, I, I can either put one more foundation that way, but I think I'd rather pull all of this out further. to see exactly. Okay, now that's kind of glitched in a little too far. You know, having a, a third person or at least a build camera would be super useful in this game. All right, here. Let's let's do this. Let's let's put this foundation here. There we go. And we'll use that as a as a guide or the rest of it. Okay, yeah, this will work. I I, I was thinking it wasn't going to let me float these without a, you know touching the ground underneath or the bed of the lake, but. It is. Oh, nice. Okay. Me likey. Uh, let's take a water. And uh, we're, I've got, like I said, I have a bunch of water and food and stuff in here. Turn our light on. And we could actually stand. To, well, I guess I don't have a bunch. I have some. Are you empty, and you're empty, and you're empty? You're not. Actually, though, we could use this stuff. Uh, yeah, so let's take all the iron, a couple more titaniums, and some silicon. And like I said, I'm going to take this whole thing apart, though, so... We'll get to that, but let's get the wraparound porch made first. We should probably make some lighting too. Um, that doesn't does seem to use a whole lot. Um, if I put it like that. Hmm. I'm not. I'm not sure if I like that. Can I? Oh, what does this do? Oh, you can change the color. That's cool. I like that idea. Uh, can I put these on the deck itself? I can. All right. I'll tell you what, then. Let's put this here. But we'll kind of angle it in so that it's shining. I'm going to also put some of those fence pieces down, too. 
yeah i don't know we'll see the the thing is is it doesn't stay dark very long in this game which is fine with me i mean nighttime's cool and all but it's also kind of a pain in the ass too oh crap that's right we're gonna run into this problem again mm, man i wish they'd change these foundations to match the dimensions of the building What the hell are we going to do about this? Um, can I put these down now? Nope. Would have been cool if we could have done a glass bottomed thingy, you know? Alright. Uh, let's put these in the way they should be in first. I wonder if it would let me. No, it's uh. Well, hold on. No, it's not. Okay, that's fine. I was gonna make like a little porch along here too, but. Oh, okay, this sucks. You know what we? Oh, actually, you know what though? I've got an idea. I've got an idea to make this not suck so bad. Why don't we go grab our? What's the matter? Oh, O2. Why don't we go grab our water collector thingy over there and we'll bring it over here and we'll put it in that spot so it looks like we kind of intended to do it that way. <laughs> I won't tell anybody if you guys won't tell anybody. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go grab this water collector. Um, there's some chests under this lake that I need to loot too. It looks like there's a little texture glitch or something going on there with the water. I don't think I'm not going to have enough because this thing has, uh, where is it? Yeah. Okay. I got to make another trip. Okay. Let's just drink that and then we'll deconstruct you while we're over here. We might as well grab some algae. Well, actually, hold on. Wasn't there a chest right around in here? Maybe not quite right around in here. Yes, there is. Actually, there's one right here. All right. We still have room to grab some more algae, so let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Um, I can't glitch these into each other, can I? Doesn't. Not gonna let me do that, huh? All right. Okay, so yeah, what we'll do is we'll build the water collector. Uh, we'll just put it right here. In fact, we could even do two if we wanted to, to do that. Um, I'm just going to do the one for now, but yeah, maybe we'll make a second one of these and put it right here. And then it looks like we intended to do that, right? Right? Am I right? I'm right. Okay. Um, the primary stuff that this building's going to store is going to be algae, uh, at least for the moment. That's kind of what I'm thinking is going to happen. Um, but what I want to do next is I want to put the put glass windows in here, so I think it'll look really nice. Uh, maybe even glass roof, unless unless we want to do a second floor. Um, I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Let's not worry about a second floor for now. Um, but we need iron and cobalt. Okay. So grab all of the cobalt and iron. Here? Yeah, I think that's the right direction. Yeah, 
And it might look nice to... Well, I was going to maybe put them along the sides, but I think the sides are going to all be, you know, have storage bins along them. So it kind of defeats the purpose of putting glass windows if you're going to block it with storage bins. Well, let's set up a table here and we'll we'll put some more monitors. That'll, that'll be like our little secondary command center. Uh, not a table, I'm sorry, a desk. Uh, I'm gonna... Yeah, let's just kind of center it there. And I'd like to put... Terraformation. These are our two big screens. Need more cobalt and silicon. We also need room for a couple of food processors because we're going to bring those two bean seeds over here. All right. Um, we'll put the main terraformation screen in the middle here. get it more or less right in the center of the desk. The progress screen we're going to have to place... Hmm. Uh, oh, can we place it here? Turn it this way. Ah, we can. Nice. I mean, well... I, I guess that works. It kind of blocks the view a little bit, but I don't want to put it here because I'm going to line up a bunch of storage chests there. All right. For small screens, um, I don't care about the transmission screen. Don't mm, energy level and blueprint. Yeah, probably those are the two I would like to have. That's just a sign. Okay. Yeah. So let's just put those two here. Might look cool if we kind of angle them in a little bit, too. Maybe not quite that far. And that was that was the power screen. Yeah, okay, so let's do the blueprint screen. Need one more silicon. Actually, I think I have one in here, don't I? Sure enough. Oh, we were going to do a tier four drill too. And we need to make that machine optimizer at some point. Hmm. Can I move this up higher at all? That's as high as it'll let me put it. Okay. Well, that's a little better. We're 73% of the way to the moss stage. How about that? All right, now, um, those are made out of silicon? That's weird. Okay. I want to put some fences along the deck. Uh, let's eat one of these foods. And we'll drink a water. I wondered if that light was going to be a problem. All right, you know what? Let's just take this back down for now. Do we want... I think we want this... pointing... Uh, or coming inwards.
Can I pop this one out? Another. Oh, I gotta go in the wrong direction. Actually though, no, I, w I wanna turn it the other way. Okay, so flip this way and do that. I probably can't move this one any closer, but let's try it just to see. See what it'll allow us to do. Oh, yeah, it does. All right, nice. I like it. I like it a lot. So just turn that that way. And we can do one more. Maybe what we'll do, though, is we'll... We don't really have anything... We don't really have a ramp, do we? If we're coming from the water... I guess we would just... Yeah. I guess we would just jetpack up over the top of it. Okay. Alright, let's see. So I'm going to need... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About eight ish more. Oh, shit. Uh, silicon. This is looking cool. I like this. Looks good. Uh, you know, we could also put a glass roof on here, which I think I'll do for now, unless we decide later to. You know, put a second story on here. Oh, yeah, this looks great. Okay, we need more titanium. Okay, look at that. I love it. I'd put a another door going out on the deck but it just it takes up so much yeah uh, you know room to do that plus it'll take up s storage space too so yeah we, we, we'll just use the one door here all right I need to go uh, get some silicon more silicon in fact let's go back over to here and start disassembling more of this stuff I think all of you... Okay, oh, yeah, we got lots of silicon in there. Beautiful, okay. Let's just keep taking this stuff apart and we'll re-purpose it. That, we got to empty first. Uh, what do the beacons have? Yeah, we have just enough room to move the beacon. Um... Yeah, straight now, please. We'll put it right on the corner. And this one we were using a blue color for. Something like that, I think. And we're going to call this Lakeside Base. I should probably rename that one to Waterfall. You know, I wished, I wish though these weren't so big, off in the distance, because it's sort of kind of immersion in immersion breaking. You know, there should be a way to adjust the size of of those. You know, like uh, use use for example, like the plus and minus key. You could blow it up if you if you needed to, if you were far away from it, just to see where it was, but. But then shrink it back down or something. I don't know. Just some thoughts there. Let's finish putting our rails up. And of course, that's not going to work. But, you know, we're going to leave that open anyway. So we can get to our water thingies. All right. 
Oh, so you won't... You won't go right out to the edge on this. That's because here again, these damn things don't line up right. Ugh. It's frustrating, man. <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, we need her. It sure will be nice when we get to the point where we don't, uh, you know, where we have atmosphere so we can breathe. Not there yet, though. All right, we need a one more silicon to finish that out. And we might as well pick this other stuff up whilst we're here. Okay, that's good. That's good enough. That thing's already full. All right. I don't think I'm going to harvest the water out of that for now. It's nice that these buildings have built-in lighting, even though it's it's kind of dim, but still, it's not bad, though. All right, so we got our panels down, the ones that I would want to have over here. Now it's just kind of a matter, I think, of setting up a bunch of storage, uh, which we have plenty of iron to do. Um, but we do need to leave room for two food processors. Uh... We need aluminum for that. Yeah. Let's um let's grab this. Eat that. I'm gonna run over here and grab the aluminum out of our thingy. We'll make this two two food processors now, even though I don't have the beans with me. At least we'll put them down so we know, you know, where they're going to be. I'm gonna drop off some of that magnesium here. Give me the aluminum. The silicon. No, oh, here, actually, hold on. I want to empty the whole thing so it can keep producing more for us. There we go. Okay, get all, grab the aluminum out of there and all of the iron. Don't think I want all of this cobalt. Maybe we'll get, take a couple magnesiums and then iron. All right, there we go. Really starting to turn green over here. It's awesome. All right, so how big are these guys? Hmm. Let's put them over by the window so they get some sunlight. I don't, I don't want to block the windows a thing, so um, we need another water bottle. Is there one in here? Yeah. Where are we at? Food grower. So we'll put one in each corner. Yeah, I think that works okay. Good. All right, now we're just going to set up a whole mess of locker storage. We could bring a chair over here at some point. What is this? Oh, that's an area lamp. A lamp that can be placed anywhere. Is this... Okay, what if we put these outside? Ah, okay, so it's kind of like just a big glow stick. That's nifty. You can change the color on it. Okay. I, I want to wait and see how, how you know, what the illumination is on that at nighttime. But uh, we could have some fun with those. Could even, you know, put some inside, but... You know, I mean, it's light enough at night inside the building to see what we're doing, so I don't necessarily feel the need to do that on the inside. At least not right now. Okay, so now we're going to do lockers. Okay, 
Okay, we need a little more iron. Let's throw all of this stuff in here. And go grab, or, or keep taking the old base apart. We still have some stuff in here, so let's get rid of that. We have enough room to take this whole thing down? I think so. There we go. All right. You know what, actually? I mean, I know they don't have to, but it'd be kind of nice if these lockers lined up with each other. Plus, for... More for role-playing purposes, um, this is blocking our oxygen vent right here. Not that it actually matters, but it would not in a real-world situation. Of course, if we're starting to compare Planet Crafters with real-world, well, let's just not even go there. <laughs> That's not a good idea. Um, this is just for funsies. Okay, so... Let's grab this and... Put it right there. And that should be lined up. Hmm. Is it lined up exactly with that one? Okay, we can, we can use this line here as our gauge. Right? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, this needs to, uh, to be moved over. Just a smidge. I kind of thought maybe it did, but it, I couldn't tell for, for sure. There we go. Now we still have room for our vent there. Um, place a seed in this to grow a flower inside. That does produce oxygen, too. We don't have any fertilizer over here, though, so we'll have to wait on that. All right. Well, look at that, you guys. We have ourselves a, a lakeside base. All right. Um... I still think we need some kind of a ramp or something. What if we... Uh, the only option we have for that would be a would be stairs. Um, I don't want to move that. Let's see, two rails. Okay, let's try something here. Do we want the ramp to be in the center? I think probably we do. Okay, so let's um grab that. Turn it this way. That's too high, isn't it? Yeah, alright, let's see if we can set it from up here. Grab the stairs, turn them this way. I mean, it doesn't, um, it doesn't blend well with the fences, but what does it look like from a distance? Mm. I almost think we should put it on the corner. Uh, here, let's put that there. Is there something we could put here? We don't have like half rails. We could put the big outside lamp there. We could put the beacon there. Yeah, let's put the beacon there. At least so there's something there, right? And it's not just... Yeah, that's... Uh, oh, shit. I thought I had that turned around the other way. That's. I think that's probably about the best I can do with what I have to work with here. Um... 
Just kind of look in here real quick to see what else there is. Don't really want to put the big outside lamp there. I, I don't think those generate enough light. Need to move that over to the right a little bit. <laughs> Symmetry, man. Symmetry. All right, let's try this again. I want you to go... Yeah, I want you to go that way. thought I did that the first time. Maybe not. All right. So this is already blue. And we name it Lakeside. Let's just call it Lakeside. We don't need to put base on there. We'll know what it means. Okay. Yeah, that looks a lot better with the I think I think it does anyways with this little ramp thingy here. All right. So, uh the only other things to do here uh are we'll put another water thingy in here just for the hell of it. How much do those cost to make? Eh, they're not that expensive. Yeah, so we'll put another water thing here. Uh, I'll probably set up some more algae generators, you know, just kind of out in front of the lake. Because uh, I think that'll look cool. And uh, there was something else I wanted to do here. Oh, yeah, we got to go grab our two bean seeds. And, you know, put those in there so we have food. And then the rest of this is just storage for probably mostly algae and stuff, you know, that we'll pull out of the lake. Um, we could also use it as some extra storage for sulfur, too. What do I have for food? Uh, I got... Yeah, let's just eat both of those. And I'll, I'll kind of figure out, you know, how I'm going to organize things later. I'll do that off camera. I don't like to do too much inventory management on camera. Um, but let's, uh, before we wrap things up, let's run over and see how much sulfur we got out of our, our little mining operation. Only three? All right. Actually, I'll just take all this ore back to the outpost. You know, I got to thinking, it might look cool to put a communication antenna on this base. Oh, let's look at this light, too, by the way. Uh, change color. Can we change its intensity? Because that is not a very bright light. Not even close. I mean, if we make it white, it brightens up a little bit. It actually looks more green than white. What if we change it to kind of a yellow? Yeah, that's pretty lame. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That's, that's not very much light at all. All right. There's not even any point in having this out here. If you ask me. I mean, it was, it was a little bit of light, but not impressed. Not impressed at all. Um, what does it do if we put it in here? Where would we put it? Maybe over by the desk here? Yeah. Yeah, not uh, not super impressed with that. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Okay, so uh, I think we're done here. Uh, oh, actually, yeah, we were going to maybe see what it might look like to put the communications array up here. Can we put it right in the center? This is more for decoration than anything. Oh, well, maybe not. Ah, that's close enough. Uh, yeah, I, th I think that'll work. Okay, let's, let's put our um, glass ceilings back in place. Will it let me put one here? And if I do, is it going to look jank? Uh. 
I don't know. I think we could probably live with that. Or maybe we don't put a glass roof there. I don't know. That's more realistic, I think. Yeah, let's just leave it like that. All right, you guys. I think that's going to wrap up uh, today's episode. Uh, this was a fun episode. Um, had some fun messing around with, you know, some of the building stuff. And, yeah. Uh, we need to get a new screenshot now that we have the communications array. Yeah. Let's go with that one. All right, you guys. That is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.